Hi, this is Farhana and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a unique but interesting topic to share with you. It is about Starlink. Starlink is the world's first and largest satellite constellation using a low earth orbit to deliver broadband internet capable of supporting streaming, online gaming, video calls and more. It is the satellite network developed by the private spaceflight company SpaceX, owned by Elon Musk to provide low-cost internet to remote locations. The first Starlink satellites were launched on SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket in May 2019. Today more than 3,000 Starlink satellites envelop the Earth, offering broadband connectivity to users, especially those in rural areas without fixed-line connections. The goal is to have up to 42,000 satellites by mid-2027. It provides internet access coverage to over 50 countries. It also aims for global mobile phone service after 2023. Starlink is now operational in Nigeria from 2023, become the first country to experience its services in Africa. The current version of each Starlink satellite weighs approximately 573 pounds, 260 kilograms. As of November 2022, there are 3,271 Starlink satellites in orbit, of which 3,236 are operational. Musk said that SpaceX had manufactured more than 1 million Starlink user terminals, which connect to the company's satellites in orbit. Now, the company has hit another milestone, gaining 1 million active users. Although users have skyrocketed, Starlink's download speeds have slowed, according to an analysis by network intelligence company Ookla. Starlink is ideally suited for areas of the globe where connectivity has typically been a challenge. Unbounded by traditional ground infrastructure, Starlink can deliver high-speed broadband internet to locations where access has been unreliable or completely unavailable. Why go with satellite service, anyway? Isn't fiber faster? Fiber, or internet delivered via ground-laid fiber optic cable, offers upload and download speeds much faster than satellite internet but, as companies like Google will tell you, there's nothing fast about deploying the infrastructure necessary to get fiber to people's homes. That's not to say that there's anything simple about shooting satellites into space, but with fewer sharp elbowed competitors and with a lot less red tape to cut through, there's every reason to believe that services like Starlink will reach the bulk of underserved communities long before fiber ever will. Recent forecasts also suggest that Starlink could ultimately double as a dedicated phone service, too. To find out when you can see a Starlink satellite near you, check out the Starlink Locator website that details when and where to look for your next Starlink viewing opportunity. If you want to see where all of the Starlink satellites are located in real time, check out the Starlink map showing the global coverage of each Starlink satellite as well as information on how many are currently in service, inactive or have burned up in Earth's atmosphere. Starlink satellites orbit approximately 342 miles 550 kilometers above Earth and put on a spectacular show for observers as they move across the sky. This show is not welcomed by all and can significantly hinder both optical and radio astronomical observations. You don't need any special equipment to see Starlink satellites as they are visible to the unaided eye. The satellites can appear as a string of pearls or a train of bright lights moving across the night sky. Starlink satellites are easier to see a day or two after their launch and deployment then become progressively harder to spot as they climb to their final orbital height of around 342 miles 550 kilometers. The size and scale of the Starlink project concerns astronomers who fear that the bright, orbiting objects will interfere with observations of the universe as well as spaceflight safety experts who now see Starlink as the number one source of collision hazard in Earth's orbit. In addition to that, some scientists worry that the amount of metal that will be burning up in Earth's atmosphere as old satellites are deorbited could trigger unpredictable changes to the planet's climate. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you have learned something new today. And I will see you in the next one.